Good morning, players. So the woman that has filed a lawsuit against Jay-Z and Diddy for you know what has spoken out to NBC in an in-person interview. Um, now, she admits that there are some inconsistencies in her story after NBC did a very light check on some of the things that she alleged in this bombshell lawsuit. Let's talk about it. So the accuser is from Alabama. She's 38 years old. She was 13 at the time when this incident allegedly occurred in 2000. She also admits that she has autism and a head injury. She says that in 2000, she was in Rochester, New York, and she had a friend drive her five hours from Rochester to Manhattan to attend the VMA Awards, something she didn't have a ticket to, um, no clue on how she was going to get back uh, from there. But either way, she says that she was dropped off there. It's important to know that NBC did a check on the person she alleges drove her there, and that person has since passed away. When she gets to the VMAs, she gets approached by Diddy's limo driver, and that limo driver tells her that she is just what Diddy is looking for. Now, the interviewer asked her what that meant to her, and she said she thought it meant that she was pretty. So, she was driven to an after party. She said it was a White House with a circular driveway. She went inside, and she had a chat with two with a male celebrity she said she was speaking to benji madden and his brother however when nbc did a very light check uh the madden brothers released a statement saying that they were not at the awards that year so there is no way that she could have been having a chat with them she then alleges that she received a drink it made her feel woozy she went into one of the bedrooms and that's when the incident occurred in the presence of, of another female celebrity that is unnamed. She said that somehow she was able to get out of the house after it occurred and make it to a gas station where she called her father and her father picked her up. Now, it's very important to note that NBC reached out to the father and he does not remember this incident. She claims that they drove home in silence. He picked up his 13-year-old daughter and didn't ask her any questions and drove five hours back to Rochester. Her father said, I've been through a lot, but I think I will remember something like this. NBC also did a check on where Diddy and Jay-Z were that night using, um, you know, the paparazzi footage because it was after uh, an, a music awards show. Of course, they were followed around and there is no indication that they ended up at some party as this lady describes. However, they did say that they weren't able to track them for the full night. Now, after fact checking her story, NBC reached back out to the accuser and she said that there are some inconsistencies in her story. However, what happened to her is clear and she stands by her story. Tony Busby, which is her attorney, issued a statement saying, because we have interrogated her intensely, she has even agreed to submit to a polygraph. This has been an extremely distressing incident for her to the point where she has experienced seizures and had to seek medical treatment due to stress. However, they did add to the statement that she was vetted by another law firm before she came over to them. Jay-Z issued another statement saying today's investigative report proves this attorney Busby filed a false claim against me in pursuit of money and fame. The incident didn't happen, yet he filed in court and doubled down in the press. True justice is coming. We fight for, from victory, not for victory. This was over before it began. This 1-800 lawyer doesn't realize it yet, but soon. Now, I'm going to go ahead and keep it a stack with your players. If Tony Busby thought that Jay-Z was going to take this whole situation laying down, he had another thing coming. I mean, NBC did a very light fact check on this woman's story and was able to discredit a lot of it. So much so that they had to come out and say there were inconsistencies in her story. In my opinion, it sounds like this lawsuit should have never been filed. And it doesn't sound like Jay-Z is going to let it go against Tony Busby. So this is going to be very interesting indeed. And rightfully so, because again, we want people to be held accountable for the things that they did do, not the things that they didn't. And people coming out here with these money grabs, they just messing it up for true victims. You know what I'm saying? And this is really, really, it's, it's, it's sad. And now 
Y'all know Jay-Z ain't going to be able to get, aw get away from this. But players, I want to know what you all think. Put it in the comments. This is Double D Mode for the Black Accurate News.